This is Mountain View, a metal mountainscape sitting over a one-off building where demolished walls are shelves and tables have hairy rubber legs. The pioneering mind behind it all is Matt, an architect who lives here with his young children and his wife Laura, a civil servant. The RIBA judges enjoyed the surreal experience of this house, as well as its individuality and personal expression. Sunken in the floor are survey markers. These columns, painted red and white, replicate the poles used to map landscapes. And of course, it's finished with a two-dimensional silhouette of a mountain made of foamed aluminium. We saw these pictures of this Disneyland ride in San Diego where they were making this hyper-realistic mountain, and we thought, why not try and replicate well, that? And why here? not do that on a house? How were you when this idea was first mooted? Well, like every idea that he initially has, very concerned. <laughs> but I knew that it was, you know, his one opportunity, given that it's our house, to really go for it and, you know, do something that he loves yeah. that probably any other client would be worried about. So do you think that Britain is kind of ready for more of this kind of thing? I hope so, because I won't have much work otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> the pioneering approach to materials can be seen everywhere, from woolly concrete walls to a foam seat that looks like a giant piece of cheese. Even the kitchen worktops have an unlikely origin. So this is recycled chopping boards, and the black is single-use plastic, like takeaway trays. And then the blue is full-fat milk bottle tops. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> what about the dining tables? What's the base? Is that rubber? What is yeah, it? Yeah, so this is recycled shredded car tyres, a bit like you get in a child's playground, and then mixed with resin and cast on 4x4 timber. On your steps, there is the phrase tiled, waste not, want not. Where's that from? So that was something that my grandmother always used to say in the kitchen, like, relentlessly. So whenever I'm in my kitchen, I always think, what? waste not, want not. You took it literally to heart with this, because you <laughs> exactly. made your entire kitchen out of rubbish. Exactly. But there are some brand new things here, like the striking tabletop. Matt found the company that makes the signs for London Underground, and he asked them to coat a piece of steel with multiple layers of enamel to form a marble effect that's as individual as a set of fingerprints. The mixture of styles, materials and textures in this house defies the rules of conventional taste. This house may make Matt and Laura happy, but what about the neighbours? We've lived here about 24 years. And you come out here and it's kind of, wow, what's this? You know, and we do get that reaction from people that visit. Yeah, whatever this is, it isn't boring. No, it is pioneering, fun, and deeply, deeply odd. And I love that about it. There are so many great qualities that architecture can bring to our lives. Organisation, clarity, storage, light, space, connection, narrative. All good, all actually recognisable. And then there are those harder-to-spot qualities, the emotional ones, the, the joy and the delight that a building can bring to people's lives. Let me tell you that in this building, the joy and the delight are absolutely palpable. Well, this is going to be really fun. <laughs> what do you reckon, Matt? Can you see how this might work? Yes, I can. <laughs> That is a first for me. <laughs> you don't have no idea what happens in the future. You, you can't see the future. Anything could happen. Oh, wow. You've done it. Wow. Beautiful. I'll tell you what, this looks stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Pretty, pretty gobsmacking, huh? Yeah?